came from Norway to Berlin to attend the Berlin Medical College because it's in central of Berlin at Alexanderplatz and uh, the building is really new and the facilities and the chairs, everything is really new and it's, it's nice learning conditions. If you want to study medicine in Norway you need top grades from your high school and I didn't have that so I needed to go a different way so I thought of Berlin Medical College as a unique opportunity. I expected the course here in Berlin Medical College to be very professional. First of all, through the website and what they tell you and the teachers, and I, I expected it to be a high standard. I found it in an email that I got from this education page we have in Norway. They send out different advertisements there and I found that the, um, I found a pre-med course. And I clicked in and I read about it and I just felt that this is what I need. <laughs> This will help me get into med school. Because this course um, gives you all the subjects that you need and uh, it gives you a good preparation for the entrance exams around in Europe. Berlin Medical College is a place for young people to be prepared to enter medical school in Europe or in Germany. The main idea is that we actually try to fill the gap that very often high school graduates have so that it will be easier for them to enter medical school. Well, it was a hard decision to take because, first of all, it's an investment in yourself and you have to believe that you can do it. Or this is a full-time study. Yeah. We have to study a lot. and. Uh, work a lot independently and we know that in the end it's going to pay off. We have two uh, different directions. One is uh, the lessons are taught in, in German and the other part is in, in English and the programs are slightly different. The idea is that for those students who conduct their study in German, so the uh, study program is designed uh, for them to enable them to enter to pass their tests which are valid on uh, German-speaking universities in Austria, Germany and Switzerland and particularly it's HAMNAT, MEDAT, TMS and EMS. So the English program is designed for German and international students in order for them to, to be qualified either for admission tests for universities where that conduct medical studies in English and also for uh, admission tests and especially for the first year of their study. I've always wanted to study abroad. Uh, I think that it's a good thing to experience the other cultures and to just see the world. Yeah, I went to study in Warsaw because I love the city. I've been there a lot of times because of my best friend. And the Berlin Medical College gives me the opportunity to go there because they give me this test in the May. And if I pass it, I can study in Warsaw. And also, if you pass this course, then you have a guarantee that you will get into a medical college, which is really nice. Our program is very intense. Uh, it consists of uh, 24 weeks, and each week we have three full-day lessons. So full-day means six hours a day. And of course, students need to prepare because they get a lot of homework. In order to pass, they have to pass 18 credit tests four final tests and 12 oral presentations. In this course we have um, biology, anatomy, physics and chemistry. The thing that caught my interest most was that um, I heard that there was teachers from different universities in Europe coming to just teach us. And the teachers, they have the proper knowledge of what they have to teach us which makes them, it makes them really professional. They know what they're talking about and that's what all students need. So actually from the very beginning on, our policy was that we wanted to provide a very high standards of uh, education. And our idea was that we employ for studies really the best teachers. And we select the teachers from uh, Charité Medical School, from Technical University, from several other universities. So all our teachers are at the same time lecturers and professors at uh, uh, different universities. And our biology teacher, he really gives the impression to us that he really loves his subject. He really loved teaching biology, so it's really, yeah, I like it. 
I can see the students from both sides because I teach here in a uh, pre-medical college and also I teach at Charité. In Berlin Medical College, the, the biology part is split in 12 meetings. So we meet 12 times. Every time it's five hours, like a block of five hours. So it's a lot of uh, material. In biology, we have learned about micromolecular biology, um, carbohydrates, lipids, sugars and everything like that and we also learn about mitosis, meiosis and the cell division and the cell death. When I'm finished I will get a place, I actually do because we learn so much. Normally when we talk about uh, like uh, cells, how they behave, how they divide, how this is regulated and how it's connected to diseases, uh, the students are always excited because it, they, they can feel that the same is going inside their body all the time. Of course, it's very satisfying to see people from different countries speaking different languages to come together, to be taught in English, in the end to all speak the same language, biology. The way you teach a street student here in Berlin Medical College, it's, um, it's fantastic. They ask every student, uh, even if they don't know, to try to get them to know the answers and I think that's a good way to teach others. In our college, the course starts from the very basics, so you don't have to come with any prior knowledge of chemistry in order to understand and succeed in the course. We begin from the very basics, as I said, explaining about atoms, how they are being built, what are the properties of the different uh, molecules that, that make a more complex molecule, how molecules interact with one another, and we build their knowledge level step by step until by the end all of the students have the same level. So the course plan, as is, is consists of several different um, stages. The first thing is, of course, the frontal lectures, where the students come and sit once a week for five hours each time for a lecture on a specific subject in chemistry. Um, after the class, um, the students get their homework assignments that they have to fill out and submit. The homework assignments are quite intense with an um, average of 80 to 100 questions in chemistry. Multiple choice as in the admission test and the final test, uh, making them well prepared for, um, for the tests later on. Uh, other than the homework assignments, the students also have every few weeks um, a credit exam about the past few lessons that they have had. Um, the students also have the assignments of preliminary reading from the books that they have to fulfill before each class in order to be able to follow properly the material being taught in class. The credit, uh, credit exams are really good because you get an idea of how you're doing in the, in the subject. Because if you get over 70% you're doing fine. Uh, and it's also, it helps you to have a lot of exams because then you're used to having exams. They, they pay attention to you as a student and they put you through this only for your own best. Physics is usually the, the least loved uh, subject of medical science uh, students. I, I like physics and of course I also like to show that physics is not only learning but also having fun. The way of teaching and of, uh, having classes is different than university and also different from uh, high school uh, atmosphere. Usually it's very interactive, it's a rather small group of students between 15 and 20 for instance and therefore the students have the high probability to have uh, direct questions to the lecturer. They can go to the board and uh, write their own problems and help with the help of the class and with the teacher they can uh, improve their knowledge in physics. As a medical doctor I understand that the program of the Berlin Medical College is highly intensive and largely comparable with the theoretical level of the first year of regular medical study. The anatomy course requires uh, from students a lot. We will start with basics and we will intensively but interactively go through the major organ systems like the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous system. The student will learn interesting things about the principal regulating mechanisms, about the interactions between different organs of our body. Both my parents are doctors, so I uh, grew up in a doctor's family, which has really motivated me all my life to study medicine. If I wouldn't took the courses in Berlin, I wouldn't have the place to study medicine. I think I do have a big advantage, because when I compare myself to other students, I can see the way that they uh, approach the material. They don't have the wide knowledge that I have in uh, anatomy, physics, chemistry, and biology that's completely new to them. And for me it's not new, I've covered all this material in the pre-med courses and it helps me a lot. 
This program prepared me very well for the entry exams of uh, medicine for other universities. I got accepted to most of them and I then decided to study in Budapest because I think it was, it was my first choice. So far, all our graduates received a study place and I continuously receive positive feedback from our graduates who are now studying at different medical universities in Gdansk, Poznan, Budapest, Prague, who say that thanks to our course, they are well prepared for the first year of the medical study, not only for the admission tests.